Have you ever had that experience where you're in a room with a, maybe a close friend or a family member and you're listening to a piece of music and at the same time you start singing the same line of music together in unison? Essentially where your frequencies are aligned with that piece of music. I am so intrigued at one of the aspects of the scanner that I want to talk a little bit about how frequencies can be prepped within the body to receive and to communicate within the body, not just for what we take in, but also for what we put out. Um, when we think about frequencies, it is a wavelength transmitted over time. Have you ever seen the movie, uh, The Da Vinci Code? Do you know that part where Robert Langdon, uh, it's part of his skill set, right? He's this master of decoding information, complex, not necessarily in your face information. And he has this ability to read a line of letters or numbers or the mix them. And in the movie, the display is that the, the information he's trying to pick up light up as he sees it. And he picks out the different parts of the different codes he's trying to put together in order to receive that information. Well, when we talk about frequencies, that great example is showing us how Robert Langdon in this scenario has a frequency aligned within his brain using his eyes and ears to pick up and see specific information that is static, either on a piece of paper or on a wall or somewhere else. You and I tend to have the same experience and can actually produce that experience with the scanner. In the scanner, I'm gonna focus on just one aspect of quick scan, one aspect that I really enjoy and love. It is the quick, uh, the quick under quick scan, the focus um, feature where you can click on focus and it's going to emit a frequency that you can pick up and train and prepare the brain to be able to focus on whatever it is you need to focus on. Essentially, it's going to give your brain the state in which, for me, the way I use it, information can be received and stored. And so I'll run a quick charge for just a couple minutes on focus when I really want to dive in and dig into a piece of information that I am interested in retaining and possibly connecting the dots of that information with other pieces of information over time. Well, what's happening there? What is happening is that there was a frequency being emitted that I can pick up and then that wavelength is being processed within my brain so that I am being made ready to receive whatever it is that I want to bring into that space for use. Okay, let's make a more practical example. If you were to take an apple and put it on the scanner and do an imprint of that dose of an apple into sugar pellets, you're not necessarily getting all of the nutrients of that apple. In fact, you aren't. You aren't consuming the apple. You're just imprinting the frequency of an apple into sugar pellets. Well, when you take those sugar pellets, are you getting the apple? No, you're not getting the apple. You're getting the frequency of that apple. How does this match up? And what's the best, what's what, one of the best ways to use that apple or that, that imprinting on the sugar pellets? Well, you can take the sugar pellets and that creates the frequency state within the body to now actually make best use of consuming the apple. That way when the nutrients arrive into the system of the body, it actually is aligned on a frequency basis to utilize, to identify, and, and actually put into production the best use of those nutrients. The scanner has so many possibilities. And this is just a simple approach into understanding how we can best make use, maybe if it's a, of a quick charger or something to that effect, where we actually put ourselves into the state of frequency to do something or receive something that makes sense for us. And, and we are in charge of how the frequencies are used within the body. I hope this little tip for today makes use for you. I know that I use the focus and I'm gonna use so many others as I get my alignment of frequency with the world around me and how I wanna make best use of what is going on in my day-to-day -day life.